Now, your Skywarn 13 weather forecast. Well, we had a very chilly morning for some of us, especially in some of our lower elevations where we had some lower 40s. 41 was the low down in Toma. Now, there were still a few spots that were into the lower 50s as well. This comes as yesterday those winds started to relax later on into the evening through the overnight. And aside from the haze, we also had a mainly clear sky that allowed those temperatures to dip near the dew point, which was lower uh, in a lot of instances since we had some of that drier air near the surface. And that explains, again, this much cooler start that some of us had this morning. We also had a little bit of patchy fog to navigate. Otherwise, a dry pattern, which aside from those widespread showers on Monday and those storms that rolled through Wednesday night, we are expect or we did have a dry pattern through most of the work week, and that's expected to continue really onward through about the middle of next week. But it's also going to be a much hotter pattern as we'll have more heat and more humidity starting as early as tomorrow. And yes, we are talking temperatures that could potentially be in the low and some of us into the mid 90s by the middle of next week. And for tomorrow specifically, those winds will continue to pick up out of the south. Those have had quite the impact on our temperatures this week. We've seen those temperatures jump quite a bit. And again, that'll be the case going into this weekend. Otherwise, for today, plenty of sunshine takes us through the afternoon. Upper 70s, low 80s. Mind you, our average high this time of year in Eau Claire is 80 degrees. But I want to focus on our upper level flow because this is what's going to dictate a few things over the next couple of days. Specifically, that wildfire smoke that we saw return yesterday, we've seen a little bit of this morning and we'll continue to see through the afternoon. That comes as we have this northwest flow along the jet stream here as that trough hangs out towards our east. Meanwhile, off towards the west, that's where we have that ridge that's developing and looking a little bit further towards the south. This is where we have that upper high that will continue to slide a little further towards the east, really bringing the heat towards the central plains. And for us, once we get those surface winds out of the south, that's what's going to bring in more of that heat. That's what's going to bring in more of that low level moisture. And that sets us up again for that very hot and very dry pattern. Now I had mentioned that smoke being brought in from the northwest and that's led to these air quality alerts that will remain in place until six o'clock on Monday morning as some of that smoke may work its way towards the surface. If you do have any outdoor plans, just be sure to monitor air quality. Otherwise, looking through the rest of the afternoon, again, we'll have some of that filtered sunshine, a couple passing clouds from time to time, and those winds start to pick up out of the south going into tonight and especially into tomorrow. And that will, again, bring us the heat and the humidity, and we'll stay with a mostly sunny sky. The afternoon, evening time, we could see a couple clouds develop, but we'll be staying dry. That'll be the case going into tomorrow night and into Sunday, too. We may have a few more clouds start to roll in going into Sunday afternoon, but still staying on the dry side. For today, mostly sunny, but that sunshine likely going to be filtered out with highs right around that 80 degree mark. And tonight, much milder than we started off with this morning by about 15 degrees, only dipping to about the mid 60s. Now, again, very hot and very dry to take us into the start of next week. As far as rain chances are concerned, we'll have a good bit of moisture near the surface, being that it will be rather humid, and we could be back into the low 90s again by Wednesday. Now for a Sunshine Award, Nate Carlson would like to nominate Sandy Carlson and says she's been through a lot in the past couple of years, but she's been resilient through it all. She's helped me out immensely and does everything she can for others without asking for anything in return. She is a hard worker with the kindest heart. Now if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weaau.com.